TexasSportsStar.com. Thank you for joining us uh, post-Thanksgiving week. It's a conference championship week as we round into championship form. And you want to talk about championship form. It took hold about seven minutes into the second or into the second quarter, but there it went. UTSA takes the win over UTEP 34-31. We want to thank Jared Sackett for getting that light field goal. We want to thank Coach Jeff Trailer for joining us. Hey, Coach Trailer, welcome aboard. We're glad you could join us a little early. I know you got practice today. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, glad to be on. Thank you all. Hey, Coach. So I'm sure lots of jokes over the last uh, 48 hours, but my goodness, what happened uh, in uh, the first 30 minutes or the first 24 minutes and the rest of the 36 minutes? How, what was the separator? What changed? Oh, they totally just outplayed us. You know, they controlled both lines of scrimmage and uh, you had a very desperate team trying to make a bowl. They had a great game plan that they executed. And we had a very prosperous team that had won seven in a row and two shutouts in a row. And, uh, you know, luckily a, a play that hadn't been discussed enough is when we went for it on fourth and one down 24 to zero and Oscar went in there quarterback and got a yard on our own minus into the field. And the very next play, we went smoke and go and see if the scores make it 24 seven. Adrian picks the pass off, goes and scores, makes it 24 14. So even though you've been totally outplayed and manhandled, you're only down 10 at halftime. When I got in there at halftime, Let's just say I got my team desperate really quick during halftime. You know, how much of it was you and how much of it was them? Was there a little it's bit of embarrassment? Been. No, it's always them. Yeah. I mean, it's never me. It's always my guys. They're the ones who got to take the coach and go do it. So, uh, yeah, we they had backed us into a corner. And then we had the rough in the punter, which we got blocked into him, which I thought was not good. But I lost that argument. And they went and scored again. So now you're down 31-14. And, uh, man, our kids just – they won't go away now. They've got an unbelievable spirit. We lost two devastating injuries in the game to Brendan Brady and mm. Gavin Sharp. So that's eight starters that are now done for the year. And our kids just keep finding a way, which is only got to have our crowd. It's got to be packed Friday for us to have a chance. 10-2 and two in the season, 8-0 and 0 in the conference. Already clinched the regular season. It was going to be tough to get up for sure. But you got there. You Certainly on the, on the back of Jared Sackett's 28-yard field goal. He had a nice long one earlier in the game Well, as well, 51. But Frank Harris, 382, three touchdowns. Kid's special. Kid's very special. And uh, I hope we can get him back. If uh, if you love watching Frank Harris play football, I'd be finding a way to get to 210inspired.org and let's get our NIL money up so these kids have some real incentive to stay here and play for us again. That is a, a valid point, Coach. Let's talk a little bit about North Texas. We've seen them before. We know who they are. Any difference from the last time we saw them? No, very well coached football team, very athletic. They've got a great roster. Uh, it was, you know, it was a miracle we beat them last time. You remember we had the great mm-hmm. catch by us, great catch by JT, who's now done for the year. So, yeah, when you've lost as many kids as we have, you know, it's just a – you just don't know how they keep doing it, but they just keep doing it each week, Rob. It's a pleasure to be their coach. Now, you, you talked about your two injuries and Brady for sure. Uh, talk about replacement strategy. What are you going to do there? Yeah, well, tight end wise, we play a lot of those kids. So obviously, Oscar and Dan will have mm-hmm. to continue to play a lot there. Uh, but running back wise, you know, Kavorian will now, mm-hmm. who started off the third string back, you know, Trey Smith's been injured the entire year and now we've lost Brendan. So Kavorian will move in the starting role. Um, and we'll see who that number two back is going to be uh, Friday night. Now, it's Friday night, conference championship right here in our dome, 630. Tickets are on sale right now, and you brought it up, Coach. The difference that the crowd makes, that you have been the you know a recipient, even in you know the numbers we've seen, that dome gets rocking. The value of the crowd in a championship game, especially lifting backups, tell us about what that means to kind of get things going, because you felt it there in the third quarter. Well, yeah, I just won the inspiration it gives us. And our crowd was that we're down 24 to 0, and our crowd did not blink. Our team did not blink. Our crowd did not blink. It was unbelievable. Because we've been there before, okay. coach. <laughs> it's just the encouragement of that. But then, second, it's what it does to the other team. There were eight illegal procedure penalties. That's 40 yards of penalties uh, that we gained in the game. So if you say 100 yards is worth seven points, well, if our crowd calls 40 yards of penalties, or whatever, that's four sevenths of a point. That's four points, right? So, I mean, that we won by three. So, our crowd literally won the game Saturday. They could take that much gratitude and knowing they helped us that much to win uh, this Saturday. 
the UTSA, North Texas, right here in the Dome. It's on national TV. Uh, are you looking at bowls yet? I know we can't really talk about that, but do you, th- what's the process behind the scenes with this? Well, we're, we're in the hunt for the Cotton Bowl. Yes, sir. I mean, you're looking at, we're one of the top G5s in the country, and if we take care of business in Central Florida beats two lanes, there's going to be a huge argument between us and Central Florida with us being 11-2 and two and them being 10-3. and three. Uh, Who has the best record? Who goes to the Cotton Bowl? So, so do you- we're in the hunt. And the, one of the biggest bowls in the country. And uh, the other ones, well, they'll put us up against some really good team in a really nice place. We've had two good a year, two years in a row. Does Dr. Campos like, uh, send flowers to Indianapolis? I mean, how do you how do you lobby the committee? Well, I told her last night, because you know, she wants it, because obviously we get a lot of money, oh, yeah. and we got a lot of facilities to build here. And I'm like, uh, Dr. Campos, well, the team I've got left, we don't need to be playing Tennessee or Alabama. She's like, Whoever you got left, we're gonna go play in the league. We need that money here in UTSA athletics. So uh, we don't know where we're headed yet, but it'll be a fun bowl somewhere. Well, coach, it has been a spectacularly fun season. You keep you keeping it interesting. You made a lot of us start drinking a little bit earlier than we planned on on Saturday, but we got it done. Hey, coach Trailer, I know you got to head to head to practice. Birds up. Let Thanks. One, go ahead. Let me tell you one thing, Rob. Fan appreciation. I'm signing autographs. About a hundred fans. I guess they felt the need to confess. They were like, Coach, we thought about leaving when it was 24 to 0. And I, I confessed back. I said, If I could have left, I would have <laughs> left. So I'm really glad everybody stayed. Very grateful. Thank y'all. God bless and birds up. That is Coach Jeff Trailer headed toward a conference championship, 8 0 in conference right now. Get your tickets now. Get your birds up. We'll see everybody at the dome.